Alhamdulillah wahdah wassalatu wassalamu ala man la nabiyya ba'da To continue in our lesson of huruf al-khafd Qala al-musannifu wa hiya min wa ila wa an wa ala wa fi wa rubba wal ba'u wal kafu wa an al kafu Now Al kafu it usually means in the Arabic language at tashbih at tashbih which means likeness that something is like another thing mithalu dhalika yawma yakunu nasu kal farashi Al-Mabthuthi Kal-Farashi Al-Mabthuthi Yawma Yawma here is an ism which actually what you call Dharf Dharfu Zaman but it is an ism also because it takes Tanween Yawma, the day when Yakun nas Yakun is a fi'l here Means to be Yawma yakun nasu The day that an nasu will be The day that people will be Kal farashi Kal Ka is like Is our Ka is our Khafid our harf khaf al farashi is the makhfud you know that is makhfud because of the kasra kal farashi like al farash al mabthuth al mabthuth also has a kasra because it is describing farash it's a direct relationship here which is mabthuth is an adjective of farash so it has to follow farash in being makhfud meaning having a kasra on the end the day that people will be like scattering flies farash here is also referring to moths like scattering moths and of course <clears throat> Only if you've seen moths scattering all over the place, then you know how wild they are. Crazy they are. They're going in every which direction. Almost as if they're going aimlessly. That's a scary day. May Allah make that day easy for all of us. Al Farash here, origin is Farashun. Al Farashu. Kal Farashi Kal Farashi Mithalun Akhar, another example Fakanat Wardatan Kaddihan Fakanat Wardatan Kaddihan Fa is a harf the type of harf it is we will discuss later insha'Allah Kanat is an is uh, fi'l excuse me Kanat is the fi'l the ta here is referring to the sky which came before so sky is feminine so Kanat is here <clears throat> because this is a feminine ta at the end of the fi'l that we will discuss in a few lessons insha'Allah Wardatan Reddish. Wardatan is reddish because Warda is a flower, a rose. It is reddish. Kadihan, like molten brass, like oil. Because Dihan is from Dihin, Dihin is oil. 
So you can imagine wardatan kadihan, or this can also be referred to as brass, melted metal, melted brass, which is basically very red. The sky will be wardatan, red, like brass, melt molten brass, or oil, murky oil, murky red oil. Origin of dihan is dihanun, becomes ad dihanu, kad dihani like ad dihan. <coughs> Mithalun akhar, another, another example. Kal ihnil manfushi, kal ihnil manfushi. كا is the خافض وحرف خفض. It comes before العهن. العهن comes becomes العهني. كالعهني which is wool. المنفوشي. المنفوش is an adjective for عهن. كالعهن المفوشي like wool that is piled up because the mountains will become like wool they were strong and hard and stable ensuring the stability of the earth until the day of judgment came they became like wool which is tossed around and light and fluffy May Allah save us on that day. Ihn, its origin is Ihnun. Al Ihnu, it becomes with Alif and Nam. Kal Ihni, that Dhamma, that Dhamma turns into Kasra. مثال آخر ليلى كالبدري ليلى كالبدري ليلى is like the full moon meaning awesome because the full moon is very awesome very uh, awe striking it's very beautiful to look at so you say ليلى كالبدري ليلى is like the better means as beautiful as bright as all striking as the full moon is badrun al badru kal badri so the calf is the khafid it is pulling the dhamma down and this ism, which is Al-Badr, is Makhfub. Mithal akhar. Anta kal asadi. Anta kal asadi. Anta is the ism. Anta kal asadi. Kaf is the khafid wa harfu khafid. Asad is the is makhfub. You are like a lion, or you are like the lion, which means, of course, courageous in almost every culture. Asadun al asadu kal asadi. Akhirul amthila, the last example. Qalbuka kal qutni. قلبك كالقطن قلب is an ism كا is also an ism referring to you قلبك means your قلب your heart كا this كا is the حرف خفض or the خافض قطن cotton your heart is, a, is like cotton meaning soft as cotton a person who is soft hearted you can say your heart is like cotton.
And may Allah soften our hearts with the Qur'an and the exemplary conduct of his messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which is referred to as the sunnah. Qutnun al-Qutnu kal-Qutni So this is what we have for Kaf. And of course, there are a few more huruf al khafd to be covered, and insha'Allah, we will be covering them soon. Don't forget to review this class, this segment of the class, and to look for examples. And some of the easy ex examples are found in Juz Amma, the 30th Juz of the Quran, as well as Juz Tabarak al ladhi bi yadihi al mulk, which is the 28th Juz. Excuse me, which is the 29th juz. So there are many examples in the Quran. And the more you look up, the more you practice, the more you exercise, the more you try to find and discover and dissect. Looking for these examples, the better your understanding, your comprehension of this material will be. May Allah make it easy for you and I to understand this Arabic language and that we may become greater Muslims with the greater capacities because of our understanding. هذا وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد ربنا زدنا علما كتاب أن